Hey everyone, um, so in the last screencast with uh, uh, SegWin on Windows, we saw how to compile and execute a program in C. We edited the file using an editor called Emacs. Now Emacs may not be the best editor for you to get started off when you basically when you're probably learning to just write your first program. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this editor called Notepad++. Um, if you have um, watched the early, uh, one of my earliest screencasts on uh, Python, uh, you, you probably already know of Notepad++. So there we used um, Notepad++ for writing Python programs. And if you remember, I also mentioned that Notepad++ has support for various other languages. C happens to be one of them. So in this screencast, we are going to write our programs using Notepad++ and then compile them with GCC under Sigwin. So let's see how we can do it. Okay, so first I start Notepad++ and write my C program hash include stdio.h c arc v oops wrong right uh, print f oops hello world from segwin from C with the help of Sigwin. Slightly longer message this time. <laughs> okay, so that pretty much. Uh, okay, let me just one written statement. And that should be it. I'll now save the file. So let's say I want to save the file in a new directory called um, C progs. I'm going to create it here. C progs. I'm going to give it the name hello.c and I'm going to save it. Immediately as you can see the syntax uh, highlighting has taken place so the keywords int has changed its color. We have the syntax um, code folding and things which you also probably noted in Python. Okay, so now we have compiled the program. Uh, sorry, we have written the program. We now want to compile and execute with Sigwin. So I'm just going to resize it. Uh, here I have my Sigwin window open. Uh, let's first see what directory are we under right now because like I told you, we uh, like like I just showed you, I saved this hello.c file under C drive C progs directory. Let's see what directory we are under in Sigwin. pwd is the command which gives us the current working directory. So as you can see it's something called home pratyusha. That's the, that's my use, that's the username on this uh, Windows machine so for you it will probably be different but one thing to note here is that this is not a location that you will see in your C drive for example on if you, if you go and browse your C drive this is you're not going to see something like this here this is because this is a directory which Sigwin uh, uses internally for it uh, so which, has, which Sigwin has created uh, in its own environment you can see it but it's not under your C drive so to go to actually go to the location where hello.c is saved, we need to first go to the C drive. We do that by going to CD SIG drive and then since our drive is C, we go to C. And now you will see that we are in SIG drive, C drive. Now if I do ls, you will see all the directories that you have under C drive and you will see that you also you we also have the directory C prox which you just created. So now it's easy. We are going to just go there, and we'll see our programs. Pro uh, sorry, the program which you just created. So we're going to now compile it. Hello and hello dot C, and we should be ready to execute it now. And as you can see, it says hello world from C with the help of Sigwin. So, which is really neat. So now. You don't need to really use an editor like Emacs for editing. You can just use the relatively easy editor called Not which is Notepad++, and just write your programs there and compile it from here. Um, uh, These commands like ls and cd are really simple commands for moving around in the file system from the terminal. Uh, I would recommend you to. Um, I'll probably do a screencast at some point of time just to demonstrate all these basic commands. SIG drive is, um, so in SIGWIN, so all your Windows directories like C drive or D drive will be under SIG drive. 
so if you would have um, so let's just go and see what we have there so as you can see I just have C here because on my computer on my computer I just have the C drive of course these are DVD and CD drives and this is something to do with Microsoft Office so since I just have C I just see C I just see the C drive here if you would have a D or E you would see them here too so this is the trick basically uh, okay and now let us see where where we can see the initial directory called home Pratusha. so let's go to C and if you remember we installed sig sigwin in C drive sigwin use and here we go so this is the directory so this is where your actually the home so this is your sigwin home really so yeah so that that's where it is so that mystery is solved um, okay so I think um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in the screencast is to edit your files here compile them here uh, pretty simple uh, I, I'm pretty productive too you know you, you have two windows open you can simultaneously compile them make your changes save them and compile and execute and compile your programs here okay I hope you uh, learn learn this learn this new way of editing and com executing and compi compiling and executing your C programs and uh, till the next screencast goodbye